welcome to JE Max. Season 2 of JE Max. There in the JE Max, we are completely concentrating on a particular topic which is very, very important for both the JE mains as well as advanced. Of that complex numbers is one so far in complex numbers. Successfully, we have completed 37 lessons. This is lesson number 38. Please don't forget to check the description there. I am providing all links of the previous 37 lessons. And uh, along with that, I am providing very good assignments uh, to support this particular area. And uh, from uh, lesson number 27, we are completely concentrating on solving the problems of uh, integrated textbook access 4.3. Of course, my friends, this is uh, uh, in lesson number 38. Uh, uh, 38 uh, in uh, we are concentrating uh, uh, problems in, uh, 28 to 30 uh, uh, from uh, uh, exercise 4.3 of integrated textbook what is for problem number 28 see this is the question z1 z2 z3 are vertices of the equilateral triangle this is given we have to prove that this is purely mass so here whenever this kind of questions are given for you the thing is you have to convert the entire Z1, Z2, Z3 in terms of one particular vertex. That means either you convert Z2 in terms of Z1 and Z1 in terms of Z2 and you substitute all those values in the given uh, uh, rational function, you will get the answer automatically. For that, here again I am applying the uh, Coley's method or rotation method. That is the beauty in the question. So, okay. Now, see. So this is about uh, equilateral triangle. I have considered this as my equilateral triangle ABC, where A, Z1, B, Z2, C, Z3 are vertices. And uh, let O be the origin, okay? And uh, without a loss of generality, that is circumcenter. And of course, my friends, if it is O, origin, and it is uh, equilateral triangle, since all lengths are equal, therefore, AB equal to BC is equal to CA, and not only that, these lengths are also same because they are radial. And O is what? Circumcenter. Okay, several things are given, and of course, since it is equal triangle, therefore, here the angle is what pi by 3. So, therefore, here the angle is what 2 pi by 3. This is important. Okay, angle at the center is what 2 pi by 3, twice the angle at the vertex. Okay, here I am applying the uh, rotation method. How I am applying? See, listen, everything you will get the idea one by one. Okay, my friends, now let us see. Okay. Now, so these are my vertices. So, O A equal to O B equal to O C and angle A O B equal to angle B O C equal to angle C O is equal to 2 pi by 3. So, Z3 is equal to because if I have shifted, uh, this is Z2 and this is Z3. Z3, if I have shifted uh, O C 120 degrees to O A, therefore O A bar is equal to O C bar e power i pi by 2 pi by 3. It is very easy because it is in anti-clockwise direction. If it is in anti-clockwise direction, the angle I can write it as i pi pi, i, i, i theta. If it is in clockwise, I can write i minus theta. So, first, what I am doing is, Z3 is equal to, what I am doing, I can express Z3 is equal to, in terms of Z2, okay, no problem, choice left to you. You can write whatever uh, uh, thing you want. So, Z3 is equal to Z2 e power i 2 pi by 3. And Z1 is equal to what? Z3 e power i 2 pi by 3. How come? This is Z1. So, if I have rotated in anti-clockwise direction Z2, so Z1 is equal to Z3 into e power i2 pi by 3. Z1, Z2 is equal to Z1 e power i2 pi by 3. So, any you fix it any one direction, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, and you find Z1, Z2, Z3 in other uh, vertex. So, here what I am doing is, Z3 is what? Z2 e power i2 pi by 3. What is my Z2? This is my Z2. So, substitute. So, Z1 e power i2 pi by 3 into e power i2 pi by 3. That is Z1 e power i4 pi by 3. So, I got Z1. Z1 you keep it aside. So, Z, Z2 is equal to in terms of Z1 I know that. And uh, sorry, Z3 in terms of Z1 I know that. And Z2 in terms of Z1 I got it. Z1 is Z1. Now, you what to do? You substitute these Z3, Z2, E and Z1 in given e, rational function. So, again, my friends, again here the same diagram I am again drawing. Now, this is given. So, here Z3, in the place of Z3, I have written the combination of Z1 and similarly, in the place of Z2, I have written and I am least bothered with the Z1, you keep it that side and you write Z2 like this and Z1 like this, Z3 like this. So, thereby, automatically Z1, you will get common term and that will be cancelled and in the numerator, you will get at this as e power i 4 pi by 3 
plus e power i 2 pi by 3 minus 2 by here e power i 2 pi by 3 minus e power i 4 pi by 3. You simplify this. What is e power i 4 pi by 3? Cos 4 pi by 3 plus i sin 4 pi by 3. Cos 4 by 4 pi by 3 plus i sin 4 pi by 3. Similarly, cos uh, 2 pi by 3 is what? 4 pi by 3 is what? 240. Okay, so 240 means what? You can write that as 270 minus 30. Okay, simplify that. Thereby you will get uh, that as uh, i root 3 and it is what? Purely massive. Because what is this? Cos 4 pi by 3 plus i sin 4 pi by 3. This is what? e power i 4 pi by 3. This is what? Cos 4 pi by 3. This is cos 240. This is cos or I can write this is uh, 2 pi minus pi by 3. 2 pi minus 2 pi by 3. Plus i into sin 2 pi minus 2 pi by 3. This is 2 pi minus 2 pi by 3 means cos 2 pi by 3. This is minus i sin 2 pi by 3. Cos 120, this is minus 1 by 2. And sin 120, that is i root 3 by 2. Similarly, you find the second one. Substitute it. That 1 by 2, 1 by 2 gets cancelled and you will, after simplification, you will get answer as what? i root 3. So, that is your choice. The brilliant idea is what? convert every vertex in terms of a single point. Here I have converted that z3 and z2 in terms of z1 and substituted everything in the given term and after simplification I got the answer. Clear? So, this is the concept. Now, coming to problem number 29. Again, it is also the similar problem just like in uh, 28th problem. Here, the triangle ABC is what? Isosceles. And moreover, it is inscribed in watch. A circle of radius R and AB equal to AC. And z1, z2, z3 represents the points A, B, C respectively. Then prove that. Okay, no problem. It is also just similar to the above question. Here, what I am doing is first, this is my diagram. This is the circle of radius R. And this is my isosceles triangle. So, okay. And this is my center, circumcenter. And since this is given A, B, and A, C, they are given. So, this angle is what? Since the isosceles triangle. So, here, uh, this is the vertex angle. Okay, so if it is uh, C, then it is 2C. If it is A, then it is 2A. Okay, suppose if it is A, B, C, therefore it, if it is A, then it is what? 2A. So I consider this as my AZ1 and this as my BZ2 and this as my CZ3. Therefore, if it is A, therefore it is what? It is 2A. It is 2A. Okay, and without a loss of generality, you consider that circumcenter as origin. Okay, now here. Uh, these two lengths are equal. There, since it is radius, there, so this length as well as this length both are same. Apply by Coney's method here. Of course, this is angle 2A. Rotate uh, OB bar to OC bar. Therefore, OC bar is equal to OB bar e power i 2A e power i 2A because it is A. Therefore, here angle is what? 2A. That's why. Clear, now. So, so, what I am doing is OB bar that means Z3 equal to Z2 e power I2A. Okay. Don't worry. It's the same thing here now I am doing. Similarly, here this is AB and this is AC. This is anti clockwise direction. Okay. So, if I have rotated AB to AC in anti clockwise direction that with an angle A, then what is that? AC bar is equal to a b bar into e power i a e power i a what is a c bar this is z3 minus z2 z1 equal to what is a b bar this is z1 uh, z2 minus z1 into e power i a because it is e power i 2 a so what to do square on both side z3 minus z1 whole square equal to z2 minus z1 whole square into e power 2 i a by squaring on both sides. Now divide this is you consider this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So divide these two equations that e power 2 i a e power 2 a gets cancelled. After simplification you will get the answer. The same things I am repeating here. So let a z1, b z2, c z3 are affixes of the vertices of isosceles triangle and a b equal to a c that is given where o is origin. 
of the circle or center of the circle and OA equal to OB equal to OC equal to R that is given and the angle BOC is equal to 2A that is very known for you and by Cohen's theorem this is one equation and this is second equation okay therefore what to do square this equation 1 and divide by the 2 after simplification you get this as answer simple that means z3 minus z2 z1 whole square by z3 equal to z2 minus z1 whole square by z2 by z2 simplify this after simplification you can get this as what z1 square is equal to z2 z2 enough simplification left to your choice we put everything on paper and get the answer okay now coming to problem number 30 okay if the complex number z satisfies mod of z minus 3i is equal to 3 then find the lo uh, locus of i minus z 6 minus i minus 6 by z okay this is given for you mod of z minus 3i is equal to 3 that is given for you okay of course again my there is a, some mistake in the problem don't worry here so this is given for you so with help of this you will you get this as a relation you call this as equation number one and my question is this is not i minus 6 by z it is better is i plus 6 by z is it okay i plus 6 by z is i plus 6 by z means x plus i by e. after rationalization and after simplification you get this as uh, like this and the term which is in bracket uh, is 0 by equation number 1 therefore you get this as 6x by x square plus y square this is what real so when can i say a complex number is real when can i say the complex number is real that means locus of z is real locus of z is real if what the it is purely uh, 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 real means imaginary part is zero. imaginary part means y equal to 0 y equal to 0 means it is x axis it is x axis this is the way to solve this kind of problem hope uh, my friends you like this video if you like this please share and subscribe my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon and we will meet with the next lessons